All right. Now, a block of mass 2 kg slides 0 0.75 meter down an inclined plane that slopes downward at an angle of 36.9 degree below the horizontal. Okay. If the block starts from rest, calculate the final speed. Okay. You can ignore the friction. Okay. So this question, no frictional force. Yeah? Ignore the friction. That means the frictional force zero. Okay. So in the free body diagram, no friction. Okay. No friction. Or you can say this is a smooth plane. Smooth plane. Yeah. Uh, just write that uh, as a smooth plane because it say uh, no friction. Okay. Uh, first of all, um, this question is about work energy theorem. Yeah. So I want to write that down. Uh, this question is about uh, work, work, work energy theorem. Okay, work energy theorem, which means that the the network done uh, is equal to the change of kinetic energy. Uh, you use this method to uh, do the questions. Alright, I, I put this at the side first. Okay, the network done equal to change of kinetic energy. So before we want to find the uh, network done, okay, well, we, we need to draw the free body diagram. Okay, we need the free body diagram. Because why? Because we need to know what kind of work done that contribute to the network done. Okay, so we need to find out what kind of uh, forces uh, contribute to the network done, yeah? Uh, so, uh, what kind of forces? Uh, there may be uh, work done by force air, work done by gravity, work done by normal, yeah? So, we don't know yet, yeah? So, let's draw the free body diagram to identify what kind of forces exist on the block, alright? And then, okay, first identify the forces. So, first of all, he has the, you see, this is the W, this is actually the gravitational force, or weight equal to mg, uh, weight equal to mg. It is a smooth, no friction. It has a normal force, right? It has a normal force like that. Okay, uh, yeah, this is the normal force. And it also has the uh, gravity normal force. What else? Huh? Uh, what else of forces it has? I think that's, that's it, right? Uh, yeah, I think that's all, all the forces. No more, no more forces. Huh? I think only the normal and the weight. Is there any other force? You, you, you see uh, something, uh, the block drops down, doesn't mean that got external force pushing it down. Uh. There's no external force pushing it down. It is the own weight. The own weight of the block, the own weight of the block, bring the block down. Uh, the own weight of the block, which is W equal to mg. This mg brings the block down. It's not there is an external force uh, pushing it down. Many students draw this external force pushing it down. Wrong. There's no hand. There's no person. There's, a, there's no human being at there pushing the block down. No. It is the own weight. The own weight of the block bringing the block down. You must remember that. Okay. So, there's no external force here. So, now. Uh, okay. So, so, there are only two forces. Two forces. That means there are two work done. Uh, so, you have two forces means you have two uh, work done okay you have two uh, work done so you need to find out uh, work done by each force yeah okay yeah what okay okay so now you also have the direction of displacement already that's good because we need the displacement direction to get the angle theta yeah uh, so work done you must have the this direction, displacement. You must have displacement so that we can compare with the forces to get the angle theta. So now, uh, find the work done by each force first. Okay, seems like there's only two forces. Huh? There's only work done by, uh, there's, no, there's no external force. There's only these two, uh, these two work done. So let's find out these two work done. Yeah? First, we find the work done by gravity. Okay, work done by gravity. So work done by gravity, uh, or put it as a work done by gravitational force. It, it is um, okay. So uh, use the red color. Yeah, work done by gravitational force. Okay, it is equal to it is the gravitational force dot with 
uh, dot with what? Dot with displacement. Uh, dot with displacement. So it is mg uh, times s cosine theta. So uh, what is the m? What is the mass? Uh, mass is two kilogram there. Yeah? Written there two kilogram. Gravity is nine point eight one. Displacement is uh, zero point seven five meter. Okay, all written there. You see that? Uh, so uh, cosine. Uh, what's the angle theta between uh, mg and the displacement? Uh, so this is the angle I want. Uh, that's why I need to draw the displacement. Need to draw the displacement so that I can know what what's the angle. So this angle is actually uh, you look at here. This okay. First of all, you must know where is the x-axis. This is the x-axis. This is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis, right? Ah, so you see here there is an angle theta angle given here you see that 36.9 that angle this angle is the same as okay this angle is the same as this angle ah i told you i already explained to you why this angle is the same as this angle in the chapter forces in the chapter forces i already explained to you go back to the problem video there and check out why is this angle equal to this to this angle okay so this, if this angle is 36.9, this angle also 36.9. Uh, right now, this is not the angle we want. We want this angle. We want this angle. The angle between the what? Between the weight and the displacement. Between the weight and the displacement. So this is the angle we want. So how to find the angle? Very simple. Just use 90 degree. Uh, 90 degree minus. 90 degree minus uh, 36.9 uh, so which is so we just take the 90 degree yeah, because you know this is the x axis y axis so they are perpendicular right the x, x axis and y axis they are perpendicular so it's 90 degree so we just take 90 minus 36.9 uh, 90 minus 36.9 so which is which is what okay so let's find out Ah, okay. So I got the answer is uh, with the work done by gravity is eight point eight, what eight point eight three five, uh two three five two joule. Okay, that's the work done by gravity, and it is a positive value. Positive value that means it will increase the kinetic energy. Okay, this uh work done will uh increase the kinetic energy of the block. Yeah, yeah, it will increase the kinetic energy of the block. Because it uh it is a positive work done. The angle is less than 90 degree. Ah, uh, okay. So then uh one more work done, work done by normal force. Uh, we need to find the work done by normal force. So work done by normal force, uh work done by normal, so it is the normal force uh that dot with displacement, uh which is uh, n s cosine theta. Now normally normal force is perpendicular to displacement, right? Normal force is perpendicular to displacement, so normally it's ninety degree. Ah, uh, so so normally this one is ninety degree also. Ah, uh, ninety degree. So uh, cosine ninety between the normal force and displacement. Cosine ninety. So we don't need to, no don't bother to find normal force at all because it is cosine ninety. Anything cosine ninety is become zero, right? Cosine ninety get zero. Uh, so anything you multiply by zero is still zero. So don't bother to find the normal force. Uh, so it has no changes to the kinetic energy. So you can find the network done. So the network done now, you already got the two work done from two forces. Two forces you will have two work done. Okay, work energy theorem now. Work energy theorem. So the network done is equal to uh, the gravitational uh, the work done by gravitational force plus work done by normal force. It's only the it's only the work done by gravitational force actually yeah uh, it's eight point eight three uh five two joule yeah uh, because uh, uh this one is like plus zero lah uh, yeah uh, yeah the gra the normal force is zero joule so the network done is only this one so now you can find the change in kinetic energy right uh so so the now we can apply the net the uh what just now we already got work done by gravity plus work done by normal to get the network done. Now we got the network done already. We want to find the change in kinetic energy. 
So it is a uh, 8.8352 equal to final kinetic minus initial kinetic. That's the change of kinetic energy. Okay, but then he said initially at rest, right? Initially it starts from rest. That means the initial velocity is zero. Uh, so the initial kinetic energy also equal to zero, isn't it? It starts from rest. Uh, find the final speed. I want to find the V. Okay, so we can say. Um, uh, Okay, maybe you write it down first. Uh, half mv square, half mv square minus half mu square. But it start from rest, right? Start from rest. That means u is zero. Initial kinetic also zero. Ah, so uh, and then uh, so uh, this is equal to half. What is the mass again? Mass just now the mass is two kilogram. So put two kilogram. Two kilogram. Two. Okay, so I can find. Uh, the two also cancel off. So what's the what's the v? What's the final velocity of v? Let's calculate. Yeah, let's calculate. So square. So the answer is uh the final velocity is two point nine seven uh meter um sorry uh meter per second. Uh, that's the final velocity using the work energy theorem. Okay, is it correct? Yeah, it's correct. Two point nine seven uh two point nine seven meter per second. Okay, that's the final speed. Uh, okay, initial kinetic energy is zero. Yeah, so that's the final velocity. Okay, that's it. Very simple. Find the work done by each forces. Yeah, you have two forces. So find the work done by each forces. Work done by each forces. So find the network done. And then the network done equal to the change of kinetic energy. Then you can find the final velocity. Okay, that's it.